guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl tupo if you're new here welcome 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 please subscribe like comment give me a thumbs up guys today i'm going to show you this easy gorgeous elegant rubber band updo so if you guys want to see how i achieve this look please continue watching <laughs> My hair is already washed and moisturized. I'm going to be using my rat tail comb, my shining jam, and my rubber bands to achieve this look. So what I'm going to do is I'll start by sectioning my hair from ear to ear, just a straight line, exactly the way I'm doing. And then once I'm done, I'm just going to take my scrunchie and secure the rest of the hair in the back. Anyway, so I'm going to start working with the front right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rat tail comb again, and then I'm going to section a little V or kind of situation like a triangle or a little V from the top of my head right there. Just make sure it is nice and straight, taking the shine and jump, applying it to the scalp and making sure the line is really nice and crisp or whatever. All right, so once I do that, I'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side. So I'm going to go in the middle of my head exactly the way I'm doing. I'm going to be sectioning the hair in a slanting way like a triangle, taking the shine and jump, applying it to the scalp and making sure the line is really nice and crisp. And then I'm going to be securing the rest of the hair away. So together I have about three sections, one, two, three on the top. And then I'm going to start working with one section at a time. I'm going to section another straight line on the top right there that way i can have a really nice cute cornrow going all the way to the back take my shine and jam apply it to the line just to make sure it is really nice and clean and crisp or whatever i'm just going to take my scrunchie and secure that section and then i'll take a little bit more of the shine and jam apply to the other side as well just to make sure you know the line looks really nice and crisp sis because this style right here is all about the front so i'm just going to start braiding all the way down exactly the way i'm doing so just make sure the line is really nice and straight sis that's all you're trying to do you don't have to do too much if you do not know how to do a corner by yourself i have a tutorial on how to do this make sure you check that out once you're done with this video sis because you don't want to miss out on anything okay <laughs> anyway so uh i'm just gonna do the little corner going all the way to the back exactly the way i'm doing and then i'm just gonna pull out my baby hair so once we're done this style comes all the way through sis so i'm just gonna start sectioning out the boxes using my rat tail comb so i'm just gonna section one box at a time taking my shine and jump making sure the line is really nice and straight and then i'm going to take my hair clip and just hold the rest of the hair away that way you know i don't have anything bothering me taking a little bit more of the shine and jam applying it to the hair just to make sure it is really nice and clean and sleek or whatever you know my 4c hair gotta understand what we're doing today okay and then i'm just gonna take my rubber band and secure that i'm going to secure about four or five times once i do that i'm just gonna section the hair into two and give it a little tug once i give it a little tug i'll take a little bit more of the shine and jump apply it to the remaining of the natural hair and then just twist it all the way down the reason why i twist it all the way down is because it looks neat and it looks clean you can actually keep this for a week or two and i'm going to section out the same way sectioning out the second box i'm gonna take my shine and jump apply it to the line just to make sure it is really nice and clean and crisp or whatever <laughs> taking my hair clip, holding the rest of the hair away, and then taking a little bit more of the shine and jam, applying it to my hair, just to make sure this style comes all the way cute and clean and sleek or whatever. And then I'm going to section the hair into two, taking my hair from the first section to the second section, and then using my rubber band to secure. I'm going to secure about four or five times. Just make sure it is snug, but not way too tight that you're going to give yourself a headache or break your natural hair. But while we're still talking, sis, have you subscribed to my channel don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what juicy yes so on the third box i'm just going to take a little bit more of the shine and jump apply it to the hair section the hair into two taking the hair from the second section to the third section and then using my rubber band to secure it I'm not going to be twisting it down because I'm just going to take the hair from the last box and then just securing that using a bobby pin with the hair in the back. So the back is done, sis. And that's all we're doing right there, sis. Very, very easy, very beginner friendly. Anybody can actually do this. I'm going to do the 
the same same exact thing on the other side so i'm going to have that little corner going all the way to the back and then i'll have the three boxes on the side exactly the way i did on the other side so let's get to the middle now i have a little bit more hair on the middle part right there so i'm going to section that out into four sections so i'm going to start out with the first little part in the front right there taking my shine and jump applying it to the hair that way it looks really nice and clean sis okay and then i'm just going to take my rubber band and secure that i'm going to secure about four or five times just make sure it is snug but not way too tight that you're going to give yourself a headache sectioning the hair into two giving it a little tug and then taking a little bit more of the shine and jump applying it to the remaining of the hair and then twisting it all the way down and the second box is going to be the same exact thing section the hair and then taking my shine and jump applying it to the line just to make sure it is really nice and clean or whatever And then I'm going to take my shine and jump, apply it to the hair, sectioning it into two, taking the hair from the first section to the second section, and then securing that with a rubber band. Today's shout out goes to each and every one of my subscribers. Thank you, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. To my OGs, you already know how I feel about you. Thank you so, so much for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for all the love. Right now, pause this video. Send it to your cousin. Send it to your friend. Send it to your mama. Send it to your aunt. Once I get to the last boxes, I'm not going to be twisting it down because I'm just going to take the hair from the last box. I'm going to secure that using a bobby pin with the hair in the back. All you gotta do is make sure it is nice and secure in the back, that way it is not bulky. Once I'm done, I'm just gonna take my Kiss Edge Fixer and make sure I lay these baby hairs using the brush that I got from Amazon. You already know what it is by now. So I'm going to be using one of our silk scarves. This is the Chick Pink. It is available on our site. Make sure you check us out. Buy a scarf or two, sis, okay? Make sure you support a sister. All right, guys, so I'm going to be using this jumbo braid. This is Kanekalan hair. It is in color number 1B. And I'm actually using three pieces of this hair, guys. So I'm just gonna take it out of the pack. It has a rubber band on it, so I'm not gonna take that off. I'm just going to place it on my head exactly the way I'm doing. And then I'm going to section that into two and then twist it all the way down so what i'm doing is i'm just going to twist it in a little tighter way that way once i let it go it does not you know unravel way too bad okay you want to make sure the twist is actually showing that way the style comes all the way through so just make sure you're twisting it really nice and tight and then i'm just going to take the rubber band and secure at the end i have two um other pieces you know twisted on the sides i'm just going to start with the one on my head so i'm just going to flip it and start making this into a bun exactly the way i'm doing and then once i'm done i'm just going to tuck it in and take my bobby pins and secure just make sure you're going nice and close together that way your natural hair is not showing it is nice and hidden that way you know we come all the way through want to make sure the rubber band that comes with it is nice and hidden so you make sure you tuck it in before you place it on your head you're going all the way to the corner as you're placing the other two on the top okay so go all the way to the corner and then use the bobby pin to secure the same exact thing with the other one on top and then use some more bobby pins to secure and baby when i tell you this signature crown came all the way through I am here for this signature crown. I am here for this updo. I am here for this style right here, honey. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are feeling it. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying it. Let me know if you guys think this is a hot style or whatever. This is the signature Tupo crown. It comes all the way through. It is nice and elegant. It is nice and easy. It comes through. It is quick. It Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say. Because baby, this style came all the way what? and you already know i cannot be the accessorizing queen without adding some accessories so here we are i'm just gonna add this gold accessories on the top right here and baby it took the style all the way to boom 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 100 let me know if you guys are feeling it let me know if you guys are going to be trying it and look at this gold earrings these are goldy earrings and these are from our site as well so make sure you check us out and order some gold earrings as well because these gold earrings just turn the style all the way to what's 100 okay even if you don't look good but you're wearing these earrings honey you're gonna feel like a hundred million dollars trust me period <laughs> you already know what
when I'm this high bird. It means this style did not even take me a long time, 30 minutes. I was done, sis. <laughs> just took a little bit more of the accessories and added them on the side right there and sweetheart when i tell you this style is everything it is everything everything i ever wanted <laughs> This style is easy peasy lemon squeezy. I mean, anybody, even a beginner. If you have never tried any of my styles, you better make sure you try this one, sis, because the sand is going to come all the way what? through. I gotta give you another option on how you can rock this beautiful updo. I'm going to be using this Afro hair piece. It comes with one comb in the front, two combs in the side, and then another comb in the back. And it has an adjustable string. And I'm just going to be using this pink shine, okay? I just wanna make sure I use this shine, 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 like a diamond. So that way it looks like you know miss Tupo one grew her natural hair or whatever and this is in color number one so it matches really well with my natural hair i'm just going to place the combs inside exactly the way i'm doing and then use the drawstring and make sure i tack the drawstring in and use a bobby pin to secure just to make sure i'm secure even if you know i'm running jumping or whatever I'm just gonna use my hands, you know, to adjust it. And baby, when I tell you, this afro came all the way through as well. Let me know if you guys are feeling it. And let me know if you guys are loving it. Let me know which one is your favorite. You guys love style number one, which is the signature crown, or you love the afro as well. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite and let me know which one you're going to be trying first. I want you guys to try them both, okay? Because you can actually rock this for a week with one style and then the next week you can rock it with the other style, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys so so much for watching my videos thank you so much for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for all the love i cannot believe we are here today let's get to 1 million subscribers because baby at this point it is up from here but make sure you're sharing these videos with your cousin your bestie your mama and your aunt because sharing is caring and i will catch you guys in my next one bye